Okay, I'll pull the tank off. Well, and it's got some sludge in there. You see it right there? I don't know what the hell that shit is, but it's got some in there. And a petcock was loose on it. <laughs> Yay. And I got it out so I could get in here. The red wire broke off of that one right there. The black wire apparently goes right here, so I gotta find a screw to fit that. Get that black wire hooked on there. Get the red wire hooked on there. Then this goes to the rectifier. And I'm not sure where that white wire goes. I gotta go look at the schematics on it. The, uh, glow plug indicator right here. The little wire in the middle of it's broke. And it wasn't even hooked up, and it should go on one of these terminals right here. Uh, I think it's the positive, I can't remember. But one, I hear, here and here. It should go on these two terminals right here. Uh, and it, what it does is it just lights up. You know, it gets red hot, you know. Okay, it's done. So I'm not going to worry about that thing right now. Because it'll crank without uh, having to warm the plugs up. But there's a cluster fuck of wires right there that ain't hooked up. Just cut. And that one's cut. Right there. And then there's one off right here. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to find out. There's got to be a way to make the check the alternator. Well, I know the alternator is just shit. I'll take the battery off in a minute. When I wash this tank out and put it back on. Well, after I get all this hooked up and get this washed out and hook this back up and put the tank on, then I'll crank it and take the battery cable off and, <laughs> well, it'll run. Uh, generally, a diesel will run without an alternator. As a matter of fact, too, putting any power out. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, but they do. But there you have it. Uh, I'm going to clean this out really well right here and get that cleaned and then clean this tank really good clean that pet cock really good and uh put it back together all right that goes there so, and i'm not going to use press wash i'll just use regular water hose uh, so there you have it guys uh as far as the leak goes it's like i said so far is right here so i might take this off and take it down to the hydraulic shop and see if they'll uh, fix it. Although there's some subject, I don't know. We'll have to see when I take it off. Uh, probably got to get new O-rings for those two right there. And all I have to do is unplug these two four quick connects right here. And then take that down uh, from the factory from New Holland. Them O-rings are... Uh, $188 for four of them. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> but all this right here is diesel. All that's diesel. It's just where the tank was just pouring, pouring out. <clears throat> and that hose right there should come out, come around, and right here, because gravity's going to force it up in there anyway. This hose right there because he's still going uphill so if you come out and come around and then turn that down and catch it right there I'll probably get some new line and then put this one on and get that hooked up where that's supposed to be and get that hooked up on there uh, and dress this wiring up so I can see here's this one this wire right here and it goes over here somewhere and I'm pretty sure that that is an oil sending unit and I think it goes right there because I'll have to check uh, I found where I can get all the look at all the schematics on this thing the pump is $90 for the water pump and I don't need it right now but I will but I can look at it I got the temperature sending unit here and there's no other sending units on it anywhere else zero anywhere hey, nothing nothing here 
that thing there this wire here is just all eat up and cooked this might be the charging wire I don't know and it go it should go to one of these two terminals right here probably this one right here I need to fix that and I need to fix that bolt because that's loose but it will start it yeah and then get some cable cutters and once I get all that fixed then I can cut all this out right here and make the get a couple lugs put lugs on it and then have them where they're the right correct length and I don't have that clusterfuck up in the front uh, and then it's finding this filter right here I think that's a Wix I don't know there's another number on it and I'm not sure if this bolt goes all the way through or if it's just one filter but it needs to be changed and the fluid needs to be changed actually right now it's showing it's full but well it's milky it's got a lot of water in it look right there so uh hmm huh, there you go guys and when I get it all that taken care of I'll start putting hoses on it because uh, I might run it around with just a bucket down and uh, a little higher than that because they don't leak right now and then I can clean the cylinders up and put some grease around them uh, but I'll change all these hoses well there you go uh, peace nanny nanny shots about and all that other good shit bye